Since we have about a week left in the ranked season, I want to bring you guys an absolute banger of a team to help you guys push the highest rank possible in the rank ladder. In today's video, we're going to be using a scissor team, not just any scissors team, a Shen Pao and scissor team. You guys know that combo is absolutely broken, but this team also features a couple of extra really strong Pokemon. We got Fluttermane, we got Iron Bundle, two of the strongest Pokemon in this series, and then we got Mousehold and Gyarados. This one should be fun. We're going to grab you guys at least winning record today. Let's get after it. But we got Mousehold in our first slot. Mousehold, really cool Pokemon, very awesome all around, but this one is just made straight for attack. It has Population Bomb, Shadow Call, Substitute, and Protect. For the most part, when you see Mousehold, you think of a, okay, support. That's what you think of when you see Mousehold on the field. But this one, all about that attack. It's got the Pop Bomb, the Shadow Claw, and then the Wide Lens on top of that. Once you usually land a Pop Bomb, you can pretty much just KO any Pokemon you want. Second Pokemon on today's team is going to be Shen Pao. Shen Pao, obviously top tier in Series 3, considering its ability is so strong. It's got the Swords of Ruin, the Focus Ass as item, Sucker Punch, Ice Spinner, Sacred Sword, and Protect, which I believe to be the best move set for any Shen Pao. In our third slot, we got my boy Scissor, one of the reasons why I picked to showcase this team today. Scissor is just such a cool Pokemon, and I love it paired up with the Shen Pao. It has Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Close Combat, and Protect, Rock and the Clear, Amulet as its item, alongside with Technician as its ability. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Gyarados, and I love Gyarados, but I like him more so as an attacker. But for Series 3, he's been very, very well as a nice little support Pokemon with Thunder Wave and Taunt. So I've been seeing him a lot in Series 3. He's got Intimidate, Safety Goggles as an item, Waterfall, Thunder Wave, Taunt, and Helping Hand. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Fluttermane. Not going to say anything about this Fluttermane because it is the most basic Fluttermane build there is, but it's the best Fluttermane build. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Iron Bundle. My boy, Deli Deli Bird. This one's a bit different. It's the Encore moveset with Icy Wind, Freeze Dry, Encore, and Protect. And it's got Quirk Drive and the Booster Energy. I feel like if you have to give Booster Energy to one Paradox Pokemon, it's got to be the Iron Bundle. He's just able to outspeed pretty much any Pokemon on the field with that. So it just makes him very, very strong. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Scissor ranked team. Hopping into our first match, let's start off with a big fat W. We're going up against a Chi Yu and Shen Pao team. It also features King Gambit, Dragonite, Torkoal, and Fluttermane. Very strong team that they have on their hands, but I feel like we could pull this one out. Who should we lead? How should we play this one? I think they're going to lead something along the lines of like King Gambit, considering we have Intimidate Gyarados. So I kind of want to play off of that, right? I kind of want to play off of that, but King Gambit is a little bit of annoying, right? It's a very strong Pokemon. We do have a fighting move with Shen Pao, so I might just want to lead Shen Pao. Shen Pao and Scissor is really not too bad, but if they do lead a Pokemon, say, like, Chi Yu, that could be a little bit of a problem, right? I could just go into Mousehold. I mean, Mousehold can rip. Its speed's rather high. I'm kind of with it. I'm kind of with Mousehold and Shen Pao. I really like that. We'll bring Scissor in the back end, and then last but not least, have a strong special attacker. Probably Delibird, right? I like Delibird with the booster energy, just so we can outspeed moves and kind of get after it. Plus... Fluttermane doesn't fare too well up against, say, King Gambit. So, I do like Delibird here. So, I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. Let's get today's video started off with a W. But something that I forgot to mention in the team preview is, if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on the channel. If you're not subscribed, click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, we're pushing 20k subs. Cannot wait to hit that milestone. So, if you're watching this video and if you're not subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. Definitely consider it. But, uh, we're going to see who they end up leading. It is going to be... King Gambit and Shen Pao. So that's who I thought. I thought they were going to lead King Gambit. So I don't really mind this too much. I can Sacred Sword into the, sh the Gambit slot. But I'm thinking of just pop bombing the Shen Pao. Because I don't see Shen Pao terrestrializing. I see more so King Gambit terrestrializing. So I'm just going to pop bomb straight into the Shen Pao. Maybe I should have substitute because Shen Pao could protect. But I don't really see it happening. I, I see him attacking me. Alongside with terrestrializing or Gambit. Which he doesn't. He's going to end up Ice Spitter me. No Sucker Punch comes out here, and luckily we were able to survive that. That's big time. Sacred Sword's going to fly here. Four times super effective. See you later. Get on out of here. So we're going to KO you, and we should KO the Shen Pao here as well. Right? We should be able to KO you. Coming in hot with the Pop Bomb. That's why I love Mousehold so much. This is exactly why I love Mousehold so much. It's because, like, especially like a Pop Bomb Mousehold, it's because it just hits like a truck. It outspeeds most, and that only hits six times. It can hit up to ten times, which is absurd. So a lot of people think that this mouse is going to be like, oh, it's going to follow me and just protect Shen Pao. But no, it's here to, to serve a purpose. It's here to take out some Pokemon. So a strong start from us. He is going to go out into Fluttermine. And from here, he's going to bring in Chi. So two very strong Pokemon. Uh, 
I feel like from here we just protect Shen Pao. I really do, because I feel like Scizor coming in back and we're not Scissor. Wait, yeah, we do have Scissor. I feel like Scissor coming in back and could be really, really good for us. So actually, I could just go into like a Secret Sword here. What's your speed? We're going to kind of hope that Chiyu isn't choice, right? Because a choice Chiyu could really do me bad. Could definitely do me bad. A choice Chiyu could do me terrible. So do I protect this turn, or do I just get after him? I think I'm just gonna get after this. I think I'm just going to uh, try hitting you with Shadow Claw. And on top of that, trying to get off this nice little Sacred Sword. So we're gonna see who's gonna Thrasilize. Probably Fluttermane, right? It's gotta be Fluttermane, and we're kinda hoping it's gonna be Fairy Fluttermane. Is it straight Fairy? Cool, I got Scissor for that. I got Scissor for that. We have Scissor in the back end, we still have Deli Bird to deal with this Chiyu. I kind of like where we're sitting here. Kind of like where we're sitting. Dazzling Gleam's gonna fly here. That's fine by me. And since that she was not scarfed, my Shen Pao should go first. So Shen Pao should be able to do a crazy amount of damage. Maybe even KO this uh, Chiyu. And then our back end should be able to clean up this match, right? So Shen Pao's gonna deal some big time damage. It doesn't KO. Is this thing sashed? It is sashed. So this thing's left on 1 HP. Um, and yeah, that's really good for us. It's really, really good for us. Because now I just bring out my Deli Bird. I boost her energy for that speed boost. Icy Wind will KO the Chi Yu. It will slow down the Flutter Main. And then Bullet Punch can just come in hot here and pretty much finish off this match. But like I said in the beginning of today's video, I'm guaranteeing you guys a winner record. We're getting things started off hot here. We're getting things started off hot here. Did I even use my Terra? I don't even think I Terrastalized. I didn't even Terrastalize. I don't need to because I don't need to. I simply don't need to Terrastalize. Uh, Bull Punch might not even KO. What typing do we have here? Is it worth Terra Terrastalizing? I mean, we have Fire, which isn't bad. I mean, it's actually fine. I actually like Fire Terra type. Just in case, say, like, they get off a Fire move or something, I think Terrastalizing the Fire is going to be in play. So I'm going to Icy Wind. I'm going to throw a nice little uh, Bullet Punch into that slot, and I'm going to Terrastalize in the Fire. Nice, lovely little Fire Terra type. Yeah, just in case somehow he gets off a heat wave or something, say we miss an icy wind. We, we, we're just gonna trash last to play it safe. Because I don't want to be like, hey, yo, I'm winning this match and then end up losing it. They'll see what they want to do. Bull Punch is gonna fly here, do some big time damage, and just KO. Okay, so we got this match on lock. It is now officially on lock. When I said we were gonna win, we were about at like a 99% chance of winning, but now it's 100% chance of winning. We got this one in the bag. Ice Human's gonna fly, and that is exactly why I terrestrialize that scissor. That is exactly why I terrestrialize the scissor. Exactly why I terrestrialize the scissor. Good call on my end. And I was just talking about, it's just like, hey, maybe we might miss an Icy Wind, and that's exactly what we do. 95% accuracy to 5% overtook. Scaring me a little bit, but still. We're 100% winning this match. It's no problem. Bull Punch is going to come out here for my boy Scissor. He's going to end this match. And that's why Scissor's so good, especially in this uh, in this uh, series. You pair it up with Chen Pao. It's a perfective under the Flutter Main. Can do big damage on the other Pokemon. Then on top of that, have first turn priority. But I can't believe we just missed that Icy Wind. That's actually hilarious. That's too funny. Our opponent cancels match number one, and we take it. Second match is on its way, and I love our opponent's team. We're going up against an Espeon off meta team with Sinisty, Drifblim, Indeedee, Flamigo, and last but not least, they're rocking out with Chiyu. I absolutely love going up against an off meta team, so props to our opponents here. I kind of hope we lose. I kind of hope they, they do some crazy cool combo and absolutely rip into me because that'll be hilarious and it'll be awesome because I, I always love winning with off meta teams, so even losing an off meta team, seeing a person pull off a really cool combo with Pokemon that aren't really used, it's just awesome. It's just awesome. But how should we play this one? How should we get after it? Obviously, Mouse Hold is going to be okay here. It's not going to be crazy strong considering they have two ghost type Pokemon, which I kind of scared of first turn priority is going to be our friend so i kind of like shen pao alongside with scissor i i really do kind of like that lead i don't think it's a terrible lead so i might just end up leading that if they lead to you i'll just terrestrialize my scissor and we'll get after the match that way so ooh, wait a minute 
Okay, never mind. They have Indeedee, but I can just Ice Spinner kind of break that. So I'm with that. I'm with these two as leads. So I'm going to lead both of them. Physical attackers aren't really an issue, so I don't really want to bring Gyarados. But I do want to bring in some big time special attackers. So coming in with Fluttermane and Deli Bird in the back end, probably your best bet to try to guarantee yourself they win your back here in match number two. So that's where I'm going to go. I'm bringing the big guns. Bring in the big guns for match number two. Like I said, I want a winning record for today's video because I feel like the past video we went one and two and we played okay and I think the video before that we might have went one and two. I just I just feel due for a winning record, right? I think I owe it to you guys. All my viewers, all my supporters, I owe it to you guys. And there's a little winning record for today's video. But Indeedy and Drifblim are going to come out here, which I don't really mind. I might U-turn my scissor. It's definitely an option, but I'm thinking of just ice spinnering down the, uh, the Drifblim, right? Destroy the terrain then swap my scissor, get some super effective damage on top of that. And kind of go from there, right? I think it's my best bet. But Unburdened Drift Blim's going to come out here. That's a, little, that's a bit scarier. It's a bit scarier, but still. We got to drop this nice little... This move right here. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to U-turn here. I'm out of here. We're hoping that Drift Blim's not rocking like a fire move. Because I feel like... I feel like it has something weird up its sleeve, right? I feel like it definitely has something weird up its sleeve. We'll see. It's just Unburdened Pop. So I know it has that ability where its, it, it's speed goes up high. Of course he protects here. Kind of hurts because my U-turn's not going to move, but that's fine. He's going to minimize. Oh, can you please land this Ice Spinner? Don't do this to me. Thank you. Thank you, Shen Pao. Just take this thing out. I don't feel like dealing with a minimized Pokemon. Cool. Get it on out of here. <laughs> Get it on out of here. Nothing's worse than when someone minimizes and you miss the first one because you know they're going to minimize the next turn, and then you know you're going to miss for a long time. So I'll take that turn all day. We get rid of Terrain, and I think we're sitting in the hot seat now. I think we're sitting in the hot seat. Got my boy Scissor. We're rocking out here. Drift Blim's dead, gone. Thank you, Shen Pao, for laying that ice spinner. When I needed him most, he came in clutch. I, that was the time where I needed him most. But Espeon is now going to come out here. I'm free to Sucker Punch now. I am free to Sucker Punch. And you know what? I'm just going to... If a Follow Me comes out, that could be a little bit of a problem. So you know what? I'm just going to Ice Spinner down. I'm going to double down the Espeon slot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Battle was canceled. Hey, yo. One turn match. We'll take that. 2-0. Oh, let's hop to a third. Look for that perfect record. That second match was so quick. It was so quick. One turn. That's all it took. We ice spinner down the drift blim and our opponent was not having. They're like, nah, I'm done for today and just got off. But we're hopping into our third and final match and we're going up against a really cool team. This team kind of looks like a Series 2 team with Kilowatchel. One of my favorite birds. Really cool bird from Gen 9. They also have Tankaton. They got Indeed and Armor's combo. And then Worm Moon and Intimidate Arcanine. How should I play this one? Who should I go into? I could end up leading Scissor because Arcanine could be a lead and we kind of just block Intimidate and then Terrastalize. But I am also scared of, say, Indeedy Armors. And if Indeedy Armors come in here, I might just want to Ice Spinner down, take out the terrain, and kind of get after the match that way, right? That's not a bad play for me. That's definitely not a bad play. So I kind of want to go into them too. And I mean, if they end up going into Intimidate Arcanine, I guess we'll just deal with it. Maybe Terrastalize and kind of attack, but... Maybe I want to throw in a Pokemon like, like Gyarados in the back. And I thought Gyarados could be solid. Especially if I'm going to swap out, I can bring out the Intimidates. Plus, I will be super effective on the two of their Pokemon, which I really, really like. So, I'm going to go into them, too. That's going to be my play. That is going to be my play. Going into them, too. And last but not least, got to bring a special attacker. Got to bring an Absolute Dog. And I think the Absolute Dog is going to go to my boy, Deli Bird. Got to have Deli Bird. Super effective onto the Kilowattrel. Onto the Arm Rouge, onto the War Moon, and Arcanine. Can't go wrong with that. Four out of six Pokemon. Really, really good. So I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to bring it in. But yo, guaranteed you guys a winning record. Already got a winning record. I would love to grab ourselves a perfect record. We're going to try here. We're going to try here. But our, t our opponent seems pretty strong. I think Arm Rouge and Didi's going to come out here. But it's going to be Tinkaton and Kilowatcher. Okay. I don't mind that. So Scizor and Shen Pao do come out here. Which I mean isn't too bad. He's going to fake out one of my Pokemon. And do I have Ghost Terror on you? I do, and I kind of want to go into, into this ter Terror type, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Do I just protect you, maybe? I could just protect Scissor. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to protect Scissor. I'm just going to protect Scissor, and I'm going to Terrasalize my Shen Pao, because I do think Fake Out might go over in that slot, but if it comes into Scissor, that's fine. So now I'm Terrasalize, I'm Ghost, can't be Faked Out on this slot. I could have maybe just led Fluttermane to Rasslize Shen Pao. That, that probably would have been the better thing. I think they're going to go into the fake out. But I thought maybe Armour's and TD would come out here. So I protect my boy, my scissor. He's been hot today. He's been killing it. And fake out is going to go 
onto the scissor slot. So big time protect coming out from us. A nice little terror from us as well. And now Ice Spinner's gonna fly. So if this thing's not Sash, it's dead, right? And it is Sash. So Tailwind's probably coming out and about. A little scary, but still, I can just bullet punch that slot down after this. Which I'll probably do. So yeah, Tailwind comes out. So I'm gonna bullet punch that slot down, and I'm just gonna have my boy Shen Pao do as much damage as he can. Which probably would be this nice lovely Sacred Sword. So Sacred Sword can come into that slot. I could U-turn out. And maybe just go into like Gyarados or even like I do I don't mind Gyarados. Actually no, we'll U turn if we have to U turn. I think we're fine with just going for the bullet punch in this slot. I think it's just definitely my play. Because I feel like I have to get first turn priority off just so this kilowatt doesn't drop like a discharge or a heavy hitting electric move, considering it is uh wind power. But they end up swapping. This is why I kinda want to go into the U-turn. And that would have been a great U-turn. And DD does come out here. DD does come out here, so I'll U-turn, Ice Spinner, I'll probably Ice Spinner next uh, turn as well, just to break the terrain. And we'll kind of go from there. The Ticketon's probably looking to... I don't think Ticketon can do anything crazy. I don't think he can, but a solid swap from him, bringing out the terrain, but I don't mind this turn too much. He's gonna Swords Dance, now I mind this turn. Now, now I kind of mind, I'm not gonna lie. Now I kind of mind. The Sacred Sword does half, which is pretty solid, we're gonna take out the Air Balloon. I kind of mind this now. And then from here, I'm just gonna ice spinner down the terrain, and I'm gonna double down into Indeedee. I think Indeedee goes for a follow me regardless. But yeah, I'm looking to just dump on Indeedee and then be able to sucker punch or like hit that Tinkaton again. The so Tinkaton's scaring me right now. I know I focus Ash on my boy, which is really, really good. We don't even get to use it that turn, and Ice Spinner is going after Indeedee. So I do half damage. U turn should come out here. Finish off the Ndidi, and plus I can bring out a Pokemon like, oh, you actually outspeed him. And my Shen Pao gets a free Sash. That's big time. That's big time. Shen Pao gets a free Focus Sash. And now I can swap into Gyarados here. I think Gyarados is going to be my play. Tinkaton's plus two. I'd rather it only be plus one. Intimidate Gyarados can come in hot here. Plus I'll get the boost from Shen Pao. So I'm really with that. Gyarados Gyarados comes out here. He into play. And he's probably going to bring back out Kilowatt, so I'm not even going to lie. Oh, you've owned Temple. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. Is Kilowatcher coming back out here? Probably, right? Probably. It is probably coming back out here, which I don't mind. I think we're sitting in such a good position here. I think we're sitting in such a good position. And yep, there comes the Kilowatcher. Uh, I am going to throw a Sucker Punch into that slot. Just in case he wants to go for an electric move into my Gyarados. And then we just Waterfall down the Tinkathon. Cool. I like it a lot. So chances are he might just protect the Tinkathon, or not Tinkathon, the Kilowattro, because he thinks, or because he knows Sucker Punch is going to come after me. Let's see, yeah, there's the protect, and now he's going to take out my Shen Pao with Tinkathon, and that's totally fine. That's totally fine, because then I can just bring back out Scissor and Bull Punch him again. That's fine, Tinkathon Hammer coming in hot here, that's going to take me out. We're going to say bye-bye to Tinkathon. Actually, this might not KO Tinkathon with Shen Pao off the field, but still, regardless, I just bring out my Scissor and I'm able to Bull Punch KO the kill watch all, and then get rid of Tinkathon later. The Waterfall does not KO and Tailwind's gone. Which works fine for us. Because now my Gyarados should be able to outspeed. Now my Gyarados should be able to outspeed. But yo, your boy's on a tear. Jeans is on a tear today. I'm killing it right now. My boy Scissor's playing out of his mind. I'm playing really well with Scissor. But I'm just going to bullet punch that. I'm just going to Waterfall down the Tinkathon slot. Pretty much wraps it up, right? Wrap it up. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. That is too easy. That is too easy. From the wise words of LeBron James, even though he got swept by the Nuggets. Come on, man. That's too easy. <laughs> I just love that. But he's going to hard swap into Arm Rouge. Which, I mean, I don't mind too much. I mean, Tinkathon's going to Tarras. That's, that's weird. That's weird, right? That's weird. I don't I don't understand that, but that's fine. That's cool. It's going to be a Fairy Terra. So he's looking to KO me with a playoff, which is... Probably the smartest play, right? I still feel as we have this match in the bag, even if he KOs my Gyarados here. But Bull Punch is going to find Arm Rouge. Do like five and a half damage. He's going to go for a playoff. And he's looking to KO me here. This might. This might. It doesn't. And now that's game set match. Now that's game set match. I, that was a good effort there. That was like a last ditch effort. Like, all right, we got Thras last thing done. We got to get up as much damage as I possibly can. But yeah, that luckily my Gyarados is pretty bulky. It intimidated that and made it only plus one. Really helped us out tremendously.
But now, now it's over. Now you bring back out Kilowattle. Now I'm gonna pull a punch into that thing again. I keep going for first turn priority moves in that thing. And I'm just gonna waterfall across now that you don't have uh, Terra. That's really, really good for us. And then I still have the boy, the goat. Deli Deli bird in the back end. Kilowattle protects again, yo. Kilowattle just keeps going crazier. Waterfall might not even KO, but still. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. The waterfall is still going to do a nice chunk of damage again. We still have Deli Bird in the back end. And Armour is going to armor cannon down my boy. And we get a flinch. We get a flinch. So even the Poke guys were like, hey, yo. Gene's got this match in the bag. Don't even sweat it. Don't even sweat it. Finally, our opponent cancels the battle. And we go 3-0 and grab ourselves a perfect record. Ladies and gentlemen, just know when nobody's got you, Jeans has got you. I got you guys. 3-0 perfect record absolutely showcases Dean to its fullest potential and dominated in today's video. We got out every single Pokemon and every single Pokemon did work. In the first match, Mousehole got after it. In all three matches, Shen Pao and Scissor got after it. Third match, Gyarados got after it. And then I'm pretty sure we used Fluttermane. Actually, we might have not used Fluttermane in today's video, which is pretty weird considering Fluttermane is usually used in most videos. But Iron B came in, in in a good chunk, and we just ripped up and got after it in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.